Hello everyone, today we are going to break down Damon's final vision at Hall. But before that, remember to like the video, it helps out the channel a lot, and subscribe, and yada yada yada, let's get to it. So Alice Rivers meets with Damon in his bedchambers and tells him she's going to the Godswood. He joins her and they go up to the Weirwood tree. Damon places his hand on the tree and has a series of visions about his future and others. Weirwood trees are considered sacred to those who follow the old gods. Green seers can see the past and the future when they place their hand on the tree, which we saw plenty of times in Game of Thrones with Bran Stark. Now, Damon is no green seer, but as Alice Rivers told him, there are omens at Harrenhal for those who seek them. So since Damon was wishing to see these omens, his fate as it were, the Weirwood obliged and gave him a glimpse of the future. The first thing we see is the Three-Eyed Raven. Those who watch Game of Thrones will be familiar with this character. He is the one who was teaching Bran Stark. This also confirms a widely believed theory that the Three-Eyed Raven is Blood Raven, who is Brendan Rivers, who is a Targaryen bastard. Brendan was forced to join the Night's Watch after committing a crime. He was Hand of the King for a while, so he was not a no-name bastard. When he got to the Night's Watch, he got elected as Lord Commander and then disappeared on a patrol one night, never to return. We know that he let the Weirwood Tree roots grow around him. You can see that he's still wearing the black cloak of the Night's Watch as well. With always being in contact with a Weirwood Tree means he can always see the past. This could also explain why Damon can see these visions. Brendan sees him touching the tree, allowing Damon to see. And we see a White Walker with whites surrounding them. Not gonna lie, the White Walker in this is a bit of a downgrade from Game of Thrones, but whatever. We then see a battlefield with a dead dragon laying on the ground. Damon is walking through the battlefield when he falls into a pool of water. He gets pulled down and starts to drown. We then see a red comet singling the birth of dragons and three dragon eggs. We then see Daenerys Targaryen with the baby dragons. Then we see Daemon walking into the throne room, seeing Rhaenyra sitting on the Iron Throne. And the last thing we see is Helena confronting Daemon, telling him it's all a story, and that Daemon is but one part in it, and that he knows his part, and he knows what he must do. So what does any of this mean? For the most part, it is linking House of the Dragon to Game of Thrones. The whole minute-long part is almost like a preview trailer for Game of Thrones. But there's more than that. There are omens. The White Walkers are coming. The death of the dragons, which was symbolized here. But there is hope. Someone comes along, Daenerys, and brings them back. Daemon drowning is a glimpse at his own possible death. And Daemon seeing Rhaenyra on the throne kind of makes him realize, okay, she is the right person to rule, not him. And Helena spells it out for him at the end as well, that this story is bigger than Daemon bigger than this Targaryen civil war, that winter is coming, the dead, the White Walkers are coming, which is the real war. Daemon tells Rhaenyra that the realm's only hope is for someone to unite it, which is why Viserys chose her, which is why he is choosing to follow her and support her claim. From these visions, Daemon realizes that his decisions will have consequences on the future of these seven kingdoms when the dead come marching. If he decided to declare for the throne himself, then even more bloodshed would happen, weakening House Targaryen even more before the Long Night. His support of Rhaenyra gives the realm the best chance of surviving the coming storm and uniting the realm. So what do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you want more House of the Dragon content, please subscribe and like the video. Check out the Twitter link in the description below. And as always, have an awesome day.